throw that t tomato at your fingers. music method adrian lenker two reverse uh she's also in big thief i don't know if this is her song big thief song i'm pretty sure she writes most of it anyways this song is fantastic first off if you guys don't know her check it out her finger picking is phenomenal i can't say i love her voice but oh man is she singing with a passion it's great her stuff is great check out big thief and her tracks good stuff this is not a beginner song, so if, if you found this video, you, you're, you're excited about this song, and you're a beginner finger picker, I'm sorry, you, you shouldn't do this one. <laughs> so I'll link here. I have a Travis Picking series. It's all the songs I've done, but the first few videos are in order, somewhat in order of difficulty. Uh, so check those out, and then there's a the Travis Picking Primer, which is a different video. Link right here. Uh, check that one out, too. And start with some easier ones, you know, do some John Prine. Because uh, this one's hard. It's crazy. It's all over the place. Capo is way up on the 6th fret. And it's coming below. Someone tell me what meter this is in. Like, I have no idea what time signature is happening. I can't keep along with it. So you're going to notice that the bar lines are meaningless in my tab, okay? <laughs> Mike'sMusicMethod.com. Download the tab for free. Bar lines are meaningless. So good luck, the rhythm's crazy, but I walk through it slow. And in this video, I learn it with you. I didn't know it super well. Clearly the video that I just, I, I practiced a little bit more to get that opening. But I'm walking through with you because it's a hard song. So you can kind of watch me struggle through these crazy shapes, this goofy right hand pattern that seems to have like no repetition to it. It's just crazy triplets. If I haven't scared you away yet, I can keep going and really scare you away, but if you love the song, you know why you love it because the dissonance in it and the picking in it is incredibly gorgeous. So if you feel up for it, give it a try. At least try the first couple measures, right? You don't have to do the whole thing. Try the first few measures and maybe that's enough of a takeaway, but I walk you through it and here it is to reverse and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you notice, I'm a little tired in the video. <laughs> I'll, well, I'll tell you later. I hope I'm not too tired. I think I'm bringing it. I'm just goofy. I'm loopy. But but here it is. I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> this is, a, this is, if you can't tell, it's going to be an interesting video for a difficult song. But we're going to do it together. I wanted to bring it to you guys. But I'm on six, right? Way up on six. So when you put it on, I always use these shubs because you can adjust the tension in the back. Right here's an extra one. You got these cool little... So if you're on different guitars or higher or lower on the fret, you can adjust the tension. So mess around with that. You don't want it to be too tight, but when you do put it up there, always kind of retune. Anytime I'm above like two or three, I tend to retune. So you don't get what I call capo pinch, where everything's a little bit sharp or a little bit off, depending how you pinch your capo down. Here we go. Measure one. Kind of implying a G chord, but we have this really fun, <laughs> like a run-on sentence. So the sixth string, we're playing it, and we're hammering two and then three. I'm doing middle finger and then ring. And then you hit the fifth string open, and you hammer open to two. And she might be, <clears throat> now that I'm going through it slow, she's probably holding that third finger down, that middle finger. So you get all of it to ring nice and smooth. Then it's the fourth string open. So hammer on, open two, three. Hammer on, open two on the fifth string, and then open on the fourth. And this run occurs again and again in the song, so get it down. And pay attention to the rhythm. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm not gonna count it, but just listen and try to express that. First two are a little bit quicker than, than the third one. fingertips so that they can all ring out nice and smooth and you end up on that G chord. So here is measure two. 
This happens a bunch in the song as well. I'm doing a C chord. You don't need your first finger because your pinky is down on the third fret of the second string there. That kind of sound. It's like a C um, and you're adding, you know, the two or the nine, however you want to think about it. And we're playing our thumbs doing five, four, and then we are pinching two and three with our index and middle. fret on the fifth string and you're lifting it to open so it's kind of a bit of a walk and then I put my hands into an A minor chord for the next part so so far thumb thumb pinch lift thumb then we're walking to oh then it's put down an A minor and now I'm doing fourth string pinching two and three and then I'm doing lifting again and playing the fourth string open <laughs> I told you it was confusing. It's not that the picking is necessarily hard, even though it is because it's fast, but it's also the the, the pattern, it, like it's not so easy to recognize. It's almost like an unrecognizable pattern. And as I said in the be beginning, I have no idea what the time signature is. So please comment below anyone who thinks they're like counting this out. I'm just doing it by feel because once I start counting, nah, <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't work for me. So that whole measure um, is this. I guess you're gonna lift that whole chord and then we're gonna prepare for the next one. I'll do that slower one more time. Three, four. And then we're going into the next chord, which is like a D with an F sharp in the bass, but we have the second string open. So that's like you're adding the six in there so you get that cool kind of dreamy sound. And here, so I have again, second fret on the sixth string. I'm using my middle finger. And then the second fret on the third string with my ring finger. We have this, uh, six, four, and then we're pinching three and two. Back to four, pinch, four, pinch, four, pinch, four. Then you lift them, pinch it open, and the thumb back on the fourth string. Again, that's up to you if you want to count it. <laughs> um, you know, it would be a one, two, three, from the top and then it goes to a G chord but let's stop there don't rush do it slow get it in your head because it's only gonna get more goofy Now that I played it through with you, I will say that I'm holding that C in measure two as long as I can and keeping that pinky down before I move to the A minor. Small detail, but if you want to get it smooth, I'll play it slow again from the top. Three, four. At the end of measure four here when we go to the G chord. So now we have a G, six string third fret, that's all you need. And it's gonna be six with your thumb, thumb. Yeah, thumb on six, thumb on four, then my index finger is playing the third string there. Then I'm gonna hammer on the fifth string open to two. Then thumb again on four, index on third. So we have six, four, three, hammer on the five. Sorry, thumb, thumb, index, thumb, thumb, index, six, four, three, hammer on the five, four, three. And again, in context, you're going to keep that ring finger down. I'm learning to how to kind of make this sound smoother as I teach you all. And then 
we have a C chord right at the a second half of measure five. And this we finally get a little breathing room. It's just back and forth. So I'm doing thumb on five, thumb on four, pinching two and three, back to four, back to pinching two and three, back to four, two and three. Then after you do that last high one, which is six of them, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, we go right back into that, right back into that leading line. Let's stop there for a second, play it slow. So again, from the top, nice and slow, let's do this. Make sure you have your tab. Three, four. So for measure seven, it's going to be the same as the first three measures. Just double check in here. Yep. And so now we're on the end of measure eight here. We go back into that D. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's a little different because he, she doesn't lift it there. It's a different transition into the D chord. So from the end of measure eight. One, two, three, four. Straight to a G. So we go to the G chord, very similar. We have six with our thumb, four with our thumb. Then we're pinching two and three. And you're hearing this hammer on, it's not super pronounced, but she's kind of like going into this chord together. Uh, it's, it's, I'm playing two on the fifth string, then three on the second string, uh, which is kind of like, you know, a different way to voice a G chord, right? But anyways, we've got two and three. I'm doing my middle and pinky. I wouldn't say you have to do that, but that's kind of how I always have played this chord for the most part. Because again, we're already doing that whole G shape a whole bunch, so why not just put the pinky down? That's all that's really happening. Third fret on the second string, so. When, you, when it gets to speed, you'll kind of see why that I put that hammer on in there. She's kind of like laying down on a heavy. I wouldn't pinch these two. I'm just hearing a thumb, but that thumb's kind of coming down with it. Or sorry, the pinky's coming down with the chord. So we have six, four, pinch two and three. Then we put both of them down and hit the fifth fret, fifth string, <laughs> second fret. Thumb on the fifth string, and then thumbs open on the fourth. Pinch two and three again. And stop there for a second, don't finish the measure, so it's just this. So it's up to you if you want to do it, but choose to ignore it. You can just do six, four, pinch two and three, and put that finger down. Five, four, pinch two and three, and add the pinky there, right? You don't have to do that hammer on if it's too hard. And then we'll continue here. Kind of easy, we go to that C chord with the nine, right? Add nine with that pinky down still. And it's just thumb on fifth, thumb on fourth, pinch two and three, back to four, two and three, four, two and three, four. You get the idea. This time it ends on the thumb. How many is it? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, and. And the good news is, kind of good news, the verse is like similar to that, but not the same. So enough to confuse you. And there are two guitars in the recording, remember? So if this, I think it's pretty accurate, but it's very hard to tell. There's like, especially those more dissonant chords where you got the ringing extensions. I have no idea what guitar is doing that. And again, the pattern is so wild that <laughs> it's one of these songs. But I hope that you can play the intro. You'll kind of realize just how cool and unique her playing is. I'm going to play you the thing to speed once so you can believe me that this is actually the song. Because when you play it slow, you're kind of like, where is this going? But here we go. I'll, I'll try it. I haven't rehearsed it a ton, but... Um...
let's do it slow together. The good news is though, the verse is only four measures and it repeats, 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 repeats. And it's not too crazy. The, the, the whole bridge or chorus or whatever you want to call it is when it gets goofy. But let's do the intro again, nice and slow. I don't even know how to count it in. I'll just do three, four. upsetting us slow down with the fancy finger work someone's gonna take a tomato to your next concert and throw that tomato at your fingers I'm not suggesting anybody do that I'm not inciting violence but cut it out with that fancy finger work we're very impressed but we're frustrated as well so stop it Adrian hey the verse starts the same you gotta break cool hammer on This is different. So we have that same hammer on thing, then it's a C. We, that starts the same. Uh, so five, four, pinch two and three. Right, that's C with the D down with your pinky. That walks the same. But here we don't go to open on the fifth string. After we play that two, we do open on the third string with our index finger. Then we lift the fifth string so it's open. So it's got that second fret, and then it's open on the third string. And open on the fifth, we go into the A minor. And here I'm hearing an A minor nine. I don't know why, but I'm just hearing two and three. Right, so it's like A minor with the pinky down, but you don't need that either. So third fret on the second string, and then the, uh, what am I doing? <laughs> second fret on the fourth string, so just those two. And we play it the same way though, fifth, fourth, right thumb, thumb, then we pinch two and three. I'm just gonna go from that C and measure 14 a few times. Pretty easy on the left hand, again. It feels like truncated compared to the, the intro. There's kind of le less notes before you get to that D6. And I'll keep going this time. Two, three, open. Is that the same as the beginning? It's not. So let's do it from that D6, measure 14. It's the same thing, second fret, second fret over here the sixth and the third string and you have thumb on the six thumb on the four pinch two and three open four two and three open four two and three and then we're doing thumb on four but then we're lifting up and just playing the index finger on that third string pinch 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 thumb and then you go to the G six fret third string same idea. You got thumb, thumb, pinch, then you got the thumb, thumb, pinch, right, fifth string. Yeah, <laughs> this is so funny. The more I do this, the more I realize, like, oh, when I'm playing that G, why don't I just have them all down to begin with? Why, why haven't I been doing that? So going from the end of 13, or sorry, the end of 15, you just have thumb, right, this finger's, the middle finger's already down. Way for those two cool for those two parts you don't have to move anything that makes it easier and then we go to the C and all we're doing here we're keeping the pinky where it is and just moving the other two down because we still have that D up there with the pinkies playing on the third fret and it's the same thing one two three 
however many it is. Five? Let's do that slower. So the whole verse starting from 13, three, four. Now here's what I cannot promise you. The second verse, the third verse, sometimes there's stanzas or lines where there's a few more lyrics. So she might be holding down the chord a little bit longer. Don't hold me to it. If you wanna play and sing this one, you're insane and you're taking it to a whole nother level. Good luck on the journey. I'm not gonna do that for this song because I think the guitar part's already complicated enough. If I were to sing it, I'd probably simplify it and I'd probably have to spend a lot more time on it. So that's another video. If you guys want to do that, you can request it. But for now, let's just get the guitar part down and maybe we can revisit it. You got the bulk of it. <clears throat> There's three choruses in this song. The ending to each one is a little bit different. Sorry, I'm losing my voice. I got like, it was one of those nights where it's like 3 a.m. and you wake up and you're like, oh no, I am wide awake. <clears throat> and now it's like, I don't know, noon and I'm, lo I'm losing steam. <laughs> But I'm in a good mood. Just really losing steam here. Uh, so three choruses, they all start the same, but they all have different uh, codas to them. So different outros. And that's that's what we're going to do now is dive into this really cool chorus. You have some really beautiful sounding chords. Um, you jazz geeks, I probably labeled them wrong, but I think they're at least kind of right. Uh, so let's go do that now. This is what's going to be tricky about the chorus. So you have a weird little rhythm pattern and I would go to my flat.io site. That's always linked in the description below. Flat, like a flat note, F-L-A-T. -L How else do you spell flat? Flat.io and it's Mike's Music Method. So if you download the tab from my website, you know what? I'll make two versions. I'll make one that's just the tab and I'll have a second download option that is the sheet music. And even if you don't read sheet music, the reason I'm recommending it is because you want to know when the downbeat is. Because we have this weird part, I, I gotta play it because I can't explain it without you hearing it. You want to know where those accents are because when you read the tab, it's very easy to get lost rhythmically. Like, am I doing one, two, three, or am I doing one, two, three, four, one, two, three? And, and, and in order to get the pulse, you need those beats accented. Um, so I recommend doing that. I put a little, an accent's just like a greater than sign above the note. If you don't want to do that, then at least circle along as I talk through it with you now. Maybe circle the notes on the tab that are those downbeats. Otherwise, I think it, you're going to get confused. At least it's confusing to me. I can get my eyeballs get lost in this tab. So we're going to go from 18, which is the start of the chorus. And we have our fourth finger on the fourth string. It's kind of like, a, it's an E minor nine. It's an E minor with an F sharp in it, and that's our F sharp. Again, uh, assuming we weren't, didn't have a capo on, makes it even more confusing to think about what chord we're actually playing. I'm pretending that there is no capo, and we're doing an E minor nine. Uh, so we have that, and we're gonna have our, our, I'm playing it, I was actually doing my pinky. I have a strong, I've shown you my pinky veins before, my pinky muscles. Um, so I use my pinky. But we're playing the fourth fret on the fourth string and then the second fret on the fifth string. Right, really beautiful sound. And our right hand is doing fourth string pinch two and three. Then the fifth string, fourth string, pinch two and three. So the first one's loud. Fourth, pinch, five, four, pinch. And then it repeats that pattern. 
You know what I mean? Without those pulses, the tab can get confusing with like where you're at. It's like one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Because I don't know the time signature, I don't even have the the beats lined up in the measure. So, you know, it's not like the first beat's always a strong one. <clears throat> That's why I'm recommending doing this, because it's easy to get lost with this this random, supposedly random, so-called random, maybe random time signature. See, when you get three hours of sleep, the words just <laughs> they fail you. They're not they're not coming. Uh, <clears throat> I still don't even know what word I was trying to say, by the way. So we got four, pinching two and three open, then the fifth string, which is the second fret, back to the fourth string, pinch, weird, thumb and thumb, thumb and, thumb pinch, thumb, thumb pinch, and then that repeat, so the last three notes of this measure, into the next measure, so we did all of it up, up to where it says A minor six above the chord, up to where we get to that open. lift that middle finger or the first finger <clears throat> so we get open on the fifth string and then I am moving my middle finger to the second fret on the third string and my index finger first fret on the second string and we have this A minor six chord so it's open on five then we got four with our pinky two with our middle one with our first finger and then nothing on the top on the E strings and this is a cool pattern too Five, four, pinch two and three, back to four, pinch two and three, back to four, and then we lift our middle finger. So we get open and want a cool little dissonance there against the four. So you pinch uh, two and three, but now you have open and one. So I've lifted my middle finger, and it's pinch two and three, back to the four, pinch two and three, back to the four, and I put that middle finger back down on the second fret, pinch. It again. So you're going back and forth. So from from that A minor six chord, we have. So you play it the high notes twice. Right? We have pinch, pinch, lift, pinch, down again, lift it down again. You're always going back and forth between two and three and the thumb on four, it, with the exception of the beginning, which is five. Measure 21. So let's go to that cool G major 7 chord. You folk players are absolutely going to hate this next chord. Sorry to do it to you. So we've got a G major 7, but voiced really funky. And it comes in at the end of measure 21. So we had that shape, right? Our pinky was down. We have these two fingers there. We keep the pinky where it is, right? It's still going to play that F sharp. But my middle finger has to play G. And then my index finger is playing the second fret on the fifth string. So we got three with the middle, two on the fifth string with the index. My pinky's down on the fourth fret of the fourth string. Right, three, two, four, open. And then my ring finger's gotta be on the third fret of the second string. Yeah, I don't even know how to show you that. Really beautiful. You got this gorgeous G major seven. If that's really hard, sit with it for maybe a couple weeks and just see if you can grab your guitar and get to it. Uh, sometimes I can't. Trying to get that pinky to cooperate can be a little tricky. That's why it's nice to have it as an anchor from the previous chord we just played. And I get these two and that one down. So I'm gonna practice that from the previous measure into the new chord shape. And that might take you some time in and of itself. So let's do it. From 21, the second half, where we got three on the sixth string, thumb, and then thumb on the fourth, pinch two and three, with index and middle, then the fifth string, back to the fourth, and pinch. And that's the pattern. Six, four, pinch, five, four, pinch, six, four, pinch, five, four, pinch, thumb, thumb. And it's loud, loud. And there's almost 
almost like a couple of beats. You got the real loud one, first one, and then this one's not quite as loud, that second fret. Really cool, kind of triplet feel. And then this next chord is a beautiful dissonance. I love this chord. It's a C, but with an F sharp in it as well. So you get this like sharp 11 or a C with a flat five, depending how you want to think about it. Pretty straightforward once you learn it. So where we came from, we had that chord, then we have the weird G I just showed you, and then we're going to a C chord, but the pinky has been pegged down this entire time. And so now we do a C chord. So my ring finger is playing the C, fifth fret, or sorry, fifth string, third fret, pinky still down, fourth string, fourth fret, and then I put my index finger, first fret on the second string, like it's a C chord. You don't have to put the middle finger down because we're already playing the pinky on that string, right? So you don't need the second fret like you normally do in a C chord. And the pattern is five, four, pinch two and three, four again, pinch, four, and that's it. So it's five, four, pinch, four, pinch, four, and it repeats twice, five, four, very slow go back to the first chord if you can remember it it's at E minor 9 <laughs> this one and that A minor 6 you lift it keep that pinky anchored twice then you lift the middle finger to that G major 7 and I kind of like you know I'm prioritizing what note comes so after I come out of that A, a minor 6 I'm making sure my middle finger gets there first, and maybe it takes me a second to put the other ones down, but I'm playing that note first, and I have a moment of breathing room before either my index or my ring finger have to come down. I lost my place in the tab. Here we are, second half of 21. And then to that cool C chord again, the pinky doesn't move, but these two kind of spin around, right? To that get in the C position. Sorry. That's halfway through 24. Let's do that again so you guys really get it. And I'll try not to talk this time through it. So watch that a whole bunch of times until you feel good about the chords. And here's a nice slow run through. Three, four. player what are you up to these days where'd you learn those tricks from we're almost done with the chorus the first chorus but not really but we're getting there baby steps baby steps all the way through so we are picking up from measure 24 and we're like halfway through it so we are on the third four on the fourth string is where we where we're coming from this next chord i'm not exactly sure this is going on because it goes from that c and it's the same idea, but instead of having the C there, we are putting the D up top. I don't know if that's the one guitar doing it or not, right? It's pretty complicated. And I'm sure she's good enough to do this and play it this way. You are too. You can do it. But I don't know. It might be the second guitar. But but we're going to keep that color in there because it's, it's really what makes this part really beautiful. Um, so we have this weird shape again. Not again, but it's similar. So again, <laughs> again, again. Our pinky isn't moving from that fourth fret on the fourth string. It's getting tired, I know. Uh, we were here, but now that ring finger is going to go down to play the third fret on the second string. And our middle finger is going to play the C, right? The third fret of the fifth string. And so we're starting from nearly the end, right? The fourth four in measure 24. We have fourth string, pinching two and three. Fifth string, fourth string, pinch two and three. And that's one pattern. The right hand repeats, but we change the note then. So the first time, four, pinch, five, four, pinch. And then it's fourth string, pinch. And then when you play the fifth string, you go from the third fret down to the second. Right, so you're moving three down to the index finger. 
second fret and it's five four pinch the pattern is the same you're just changing that one note in there and then you have the sixth string open so real slow again i'm getting confused uh, again so i would circle if you printed the tab or if you didn't you know color coordinate it where that fourth four and measure 24 is where we're starting. So you might wanna mark that as like the beginning of that new phrase. And then this one, if you wanted to as well, right, that first four and measure 25. And then here I'm gonna play that open and finally I'm gonna relax my hand and change the shape here to get to that E minor nine. It's the same notes, but I'm gonna do this and I'll show you why, because we're gonna slide in a second. So now my index finger is playing that third fret on the second string. My middle finger is playing the fourth fret on the fourth string. We've got six. Let me play it again clean. And we're so close. So let's do this. Six, four, pinching two and three. Four, two and three. also hitting that same string again so be careful on that part four slides up to seven uh, I think I'm yeah I'm just hearing a slide I'm not hearing the first finger go with it just a slide there and after you slide you're hitting seven again pinching Take it from that run on 27, then we'll repeat all of it in a second. But we'll just walk through it quick because it's very similar to the verse. Um, it might even be the same, but I think there's maybe, you know, some kind of weird anomaly where there's a little less note somewhere. So let's go through it, just look at it together. The run's the same to the C. Lift it, same walk as in the beginning. Two open, both on the fifth string, and it goes to the A minor. And then you lift it right away, and then right into the D6. in the intro and then to the G. Thumb, 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 index. Yeah, I think this is all the same. Two. Except that's shorter than in the intro and it jumps right back to the verse. But let's do the whole chorus together from measure 18 real slow. Three, four. I didn't put the third fret down like I said I would, so I messed up the chord. There's a lot of stuff going on in there. Let's do it together even slower from the top. Uh, do, 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 triple it. change my hand there. Then the verse repeats, 
Sorry, I can't promise it's exactly the same every time it repeats. Because again, there's a few more words and she might be holding things a little longer. She's doing whatever she wants to do. There's actually a really funny video of, I swear I'm not anything. My, my nose is just itchy. It's a change of season. It's turning into autumn. As I said before, I didn't sleep. Stop, what? What? Sorry, I already did this gig when I did Cocaine Blues by Towns Van Zandt. I did this, uh, gig's not the right word either. I cannot talk today. It's called a bit, right? Is that what comedians do? Bits, not gigs. I do gigs as a musician. I don't do bits. Uh, <laughs> I'm at a loss today, guys. I don't even know what I'm doing. But what I was saying is uh, there's a hilarious video of Big Thief doing this live. And why don't I know her name? What is it? A Adrian? Adriana? Is, uh, well, someone messes up. The band can't keep up because the timing's so goofy. You can even see the band. They're just like watching her going, all right, I think I go to that note now. I think that one, when's she going to change it? And at one moment, they totally lose it. And they then she, you know, they stop and she's got to pick it back up. <laughs> just to show you how goofy the song is, you can see the apprehension in the rest of the band players' like eyes. They're like, all right. When does this chord change? It's just like waiting for her to do it and follow her. Um, it's it's funny. You should watch it. But let's keep going. That verse, pretty much the same. Don't worry about it. This is all sounding awesome. And then the end of the second chorus is so rad. So that's what we're going to talk about right now. So if you look at the tab, we're on measure 34. And it's it's all the same as it was before so far. different when we get to the open we don't do that thing here we do the slide we have open so I'm on measure 41 the end of 41 we're just doing a normal E minor 7 and you can do it like this two and three it doesn't matter too much but we have six then we have the second fret on the fourth string then we're pinching two and three and the third frets down on that second string six four pinch two and three here you move the chord. It's still an E minor, but we're just doing E on the fifth string. Yes, and I would move my hand there, so I'm using the first finger. I'm gonna stick with that. So six, four, pinch, four, pinch, four. Then I'm moving the index finger to the second fret of the fifth string, and it's five, four, and then we're pinching open and open. And we're gonna jump to the fifth fret, confusing one shy of the double dot and it's the same pattern so we got five four pinch two and three and that five is the second fret then we go to the fifth fret on the fifth string in the same pattern the strings are five four pinch then you go down to the fourth fret and it's fifth string fourth string and then I'm putting the that D back down right the third fret of the second string It's five, four, pinch, four, pinch, four, five, four, pinch, four, pinch, four, five, four, pinch, four, pinch, four. Very cool. So again, from the end of measure 41, got an E minor with that D. I'm using these two. Six, four, pinch, four, pinch, four. Move it to fifth string. Last two notes of 41. And back into the verse. Really cool. Up to speed, the whole chorus here, the whole second chorus from 34, so you guys can hear it. Up every 
time. I can't even follow my own fingering instructions. to the verse and then we have the third and final chorus the final few measures again this entire chorus is going to be the same up until the end i'll play through it but it's always when it comes down to that open on the sixth string is when the ending happens so if you look at the tab though i'll just play through from 47 again for everybody and i think i have my fingering now i've been practicing in between my uh takes here <laughs> So let's try that again, 47. Cool, G major 7. To the C, but I gotta scroll. So now we're on 52. the tricky part for me so again I should really get my microscope and follow my own advice it's this to this like for me that's the hardest part and here's where it changes the end of 54 from the end there of 54. We've got a regular E minor. And we're doing six, four, three, five, four, two, six, four, three. And I'm doing thumb, thumb, index, thumb, thumb, index or pointer, third or middle, doesn't matter. Six, four, pointer on the third, five, four, middle on the second. And I guess you can move there, let's see. Yeah, I would use my index finger to get that pull off on the third string, two to open. Try it again, three, four. And then we have one more chord, four on the fifth string, fourth fret, second fret on the fourth string. And we're doing fifth, fourth, and then picking two and three open, pinching, I mean. far in the video take a nap relax pat yourself on the back and threaten threaten that girl threaten Adrian's life tell her what you had to go through to learn her freaking stupid finger picking song threaten her life it's a joke it's obviously a joke some slow run throughs from the top let's do it three four
measure 18 3 4 to the second chorus, measure 34 in the tab. Three, four. But it's all the same. I think you got the verse right. We played it enough. Let's do the third chorus again. Starts the same. Three, four. still too fast you can slow down what i did and put it whoop at 0.75 speed if you really want to hear it slow and i think there was only one <laughs> i'll point it out because i it, it might drive you nuts i i was making one mistake where that transition from one of the g's to the c i think i had my pinky down but it shouldn't have been down because i was used to doing that hammer on and we deleted the hammer on but that's it other than that, I'm pretty sure I played it very accurate to the tab with that one little part where I made the mistake. Well, that's it. Go slow. You're going to learn a lot from this song. Really cool chord voicings in the left hand. And, you know, neat little patterns with the right. Let me know how it went if you made it this far in the video and if you can play it. Mike's Music Method. You guys are great. You're a great player. Well done. Someone's going to take a tomato to your next concert and throw that tomato at your fingers. <laughs>